Fountain Hills. Well, I actually lived in Fountain Hills for about 14, 15 years and uh, had quit a corporate job and decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I found a need here in Fountain Hills. A lot of folks here are transferring or they're downsizing and they needed a place to put their furniture. So a lot of the quality of the furniture that we receive is good. And so it just worked out perfect. People started bringing furniture in within the first few months. And here it is five years later and I have my consignment store. idea to do a consignment store? Um, I've always loved consignment stores and about 12 years ago I furnished my own home with consignment furniture so I thought there was a need here and I thought let's give it a try so I bought the building and started out small and again within several months build up the building. How, how much courage did that take to start a new business? It's, it is hard except my background was running small businesses so that part of it was not hard for me. Mm -hmm. There was getting to know a lot of the folks in the neighborhood and um, hopefully being able to accommodate their needs and sell their furniture for them. find out about you? Most of it is by word of mouth, although I do have a website. It's uh, quality-consignment.com, um, but I would say probably about 90% of it has been referrals um, from folks from Fountain Hills, Rio Verde, Phoenix, Scottsdale, even as far away as Surprise. Mm -hmm. Now, are there certain things that you look for? Do you take anything? How does that work? We want to make sure, as with the name of the business, Quality Consignment, that the furniture does and is quality furniture. Uh, it should be gently used. Um, vintage, we take all kinds of vintage furniture. Um, it could be contemporary, it could be transitional. Uh, just any type of furniture or accessories that we think people would still like to purchase today. Uh, pricing usually as a rule of thumb sometimes is between about 30 and 50 percent of retail however if an item is fairly new and it's in excellent condition we may try try to go close to a retail price mm -hmm. what what's the most incredible item you've ever had in your shop oh gosh we've had a number of them um, I've had some beautiful wardrobes that have sold very very well um, some beautiful sectionals that have sold well um, just different types of china we've had some beautiful china that has sold so it just it just depends we receive things from all over the country because people move here from florida midwest california so we just get a whole variety of furniture mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about Fountain Hills that attracted you? I wanted out of the city. Uh, I had, for my previous position for about 30 some years, I used to do a lot of commuting. Um, some of it was commuting out of the state, some of it was commuting out of the city. So it, since I had settled here about 14, 15 years ago and loved the mountains, loved the views out here, I thought it was time to find something that I could do close to home. Mm -hmm.
it's a wonderful place for people to come visit. The building is a fun place to be. It was one of the original commercial buildings built in Fountain Hills in 1970. So we get a lot of compliment from all of the beams and the staircases. Uh, we have a whole upstairs, it's a 5,000 square foot building, and upstairs is filled with all types of accessories, anything from Southwest to Western glassware, and even an area that we call the attic. Most of the furniture is located down below so that it's within reach for, for everyone. You have some incredible pieces in this shop. Thank you, it's fun, it's fun. You never know what's gonna come in every day. 